today mm -hmm. and say to you, mm -hmm. what do I have to do in order to get you to go home? What would it have to be? That's a cracking question. Um, basically, um, David resigned. 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 And what ground? Put in place uh, a real democracy because we believe the democracy which you are presenting us with, or I believe the democracy which you are presenting, presenting us with, is an illusion. Okay. Uh, I believe that. So you're talking about vote, voting reform to change the way we vote. Voting reform. Okay. I might even go further than that. Uh, there's lots of uh, ideas that I have. Uh, I say maybe completely remove money from politics. I see a lot of politicians go into politics for what I think seem to be the right reasons. However, how come is it that every time a politician gains some form of office or power, they don't do what they said they were going to do in a run up to the election that got them there? Well, I think a lot of politicians would say because it becomes impossible to achieve everything. For example, when David Cameron did come in, the former treasurer had left a note on the table saying, by the way, there's no money. So yeah. therefore, I don't think you can do everything with that. But so say, say if you take someone like Nick Clegg, who he you know, oh yeah, made a promise that he wasn't going to... Oh yeah, I completely agree, but the thing is, he can't go in as the deputy leader and put all the principles that he wants to put there. But the fact is, that the fact they've got three Liberal Democrat principles, which would not have passed under a complete Tory government, it's better to have a little bit of good than none at all. You think so, opinion. even if it totally compromises your own integrity? I think that if you really, if you want to get, I think no, some change and not doing some of the things you say you do is better than no change. I think so you feel that um, a compromise is healthy? Always. Yeah, I believe a compromise can be healthy as well. Um, Therefore, I think asking someone to completely change a three, three to, no, more than that, 400 year old voting system in a few weeks or immediately would be incredibly hard. I think but they're not, it's not, they're not doing it immediately, they're not making any steps towards doing it, are they? I mean, there's no, no change Well, we, we had the vote on, vote on voting reform, which would have definitely been a step towards that, but the public voted against it. Moving that on a little bit, this is an entirely new form of protest. It's actually that new. Um, it started, well, as far as I know, uh, in Madrid, Barcelona, around about three, four months ago, the concept of Occupy. Uh, it's really much a mainstream media blackout. Uh, on the 17th of September, in um, Wall Street, New York, uh, an Occupy started there. Yeah. Yes, the mission, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can see it's going going well. Yeah, a lot, but it didn't start to become news until very, very recently, within the last few days, in the mainstream media. It was a virtual mainstream media blackout. Okay. They didn't start with very small numbers. It started off with around about two or three hundred, and they have now grown. I'm not to understand that what happened in New York on Saturday was they had a hundred thousand march, uh, march to Times Square. I, I read more about six to eight thousand. But well, the one thing I would say about the whole thing, because I've been following the Wall Street one since it did begin. Mm -hmm. All this is great. There's lots of energy. People like yourself, who seem to really, you know, care. But there's no <laughs> focus. We're working on that. We Please do, because I would be out here myself mm -hmm. and get behind it if there was some level of focus. But I talked to one guy. What over do there. you mean in terms of focus? I, to, I, I talked to one guy over there with a me megaphone, and he said, and I said to him, "What would you do? What would you have to get? Ask him the question. What would have, someone have to give you in order for you to leave and go home? Yeah. What do you need? What, what, what do you want?" And he said, "I don't know. I'd have to meditate on that." Yeah. Which is not well. There's a lot of different people here with different points of view, aren't there? Oh, Do you think you, so? You'd only support it if it was a homogenous no, I don't movement. Think with that this, basically, I think the majority of people, especially people who aren't naturally interested, will see this as a lot of noise with no focus. Every good civil rights movement, anything like that, has one issue that you're focusing on. You get uh, a result for it. Oh no, I disagree. That's I disagree not true, that though. Entirely. Right. Pretty much every protest in history has always failed because what people tend to do is march for one day regarding one issue I agree. and nothing ever changes. What now this has never been attempted before, this is a new way of attempting to protest. Right, on Saturday we had the global protest, everybody did the same thing at the same time. Never happened before. The reason why it's possible is because the world is so much more interconnected now in terms of technology, the internet, etc. Right. Um, the world's issues are many. There isn't just one problem which solving one problem would sort the whole world out. So there's no, it isn't essentially chaos theory. Even if you do manage to resolve one problem, it will very likely negatively affect another. And then more problems will branch off of that. So what we need to do is to recognise the fact that there are numerous problems in the world and start to tackle all of them. I think everyone would recognise that, but I think that it, there is not enough resources or time or people in order to address them all at the same time. There's not oh, enough resources, maybe, why do you say that? Maybe pick, pick two, pick three, choose something to focus on. I, I guarantee you, your numbers would double yeah. overnight. 
focus on just maybe a few things? Well, at the moment we've um, got it down to nine officially at this Occupy. Okay. If you'd like to know what they are, are you they are at www.occupylsx, okay. that's Lima Sierra X ray. Dot org. That is the official website for are there, Occupy are those London. nine issues of why you're doing this or nine things that you want to achieve from it? No, a little bit of both. It does say very clearly on the landing page that it is a draft uh, statement, a draft manifesto. It will be a continual working process. I would encourage you, if you have the idea that we need to get down to two or three main issues, yeah. to uh, begin to occupy with us. That doesn't necessarily mean that you have to stay overnight. Many of us are. Okay. You don't need to do that. You don't have to stay overnight. Everybody at Occupy has a voice. This is real democracy in action. At the moment, people are still disenfranchised. People don't bother to vote. So it doesn't make any difference. They don't have a voice. It won't make any difference. Is there anything about the global financial system that you'd like to change? Uh, I think there is certainly an issue of reform that needs to be done and I think that... What are the main problems of the world as you see it? Is the world alright or are there main, the problems I think, or...? I think one thing we have to realise is the world is in the best shape it's ever been in. I think a lot you of really people, think so? A lot of people look back in roast into glasses, but the world is much better off than it was 20 years ago, 40 years ago. In what ago. way is it better off? In what way that more, that more money is spent on charity, in way that religion is getting taken inflation. away from pockets, there are more democracies around the world. And well, wealth inequality in this country is much worse now than it was at the Second right, right World now, War. Then why, just why of a rates of depression soaring? No, 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 not just because of a recession. For the whole, for the whole of the uh, what, last decade, that's been yeah, true. Yeah, the, the wealth. The last decade. Why is, why is rates of uh, clinically diagnosed depression soaring if everybody's happy up? I think it's because people are like you, like you, like people here, disillusioned but they have not found anything to focus to work on to make it better so therefore they feel hopeless I think this is great I don't feel hopeless, I have loads of hope I'm very optimistic, my glass but, is half But that's why I think the depression is rising it's because people feel disenfranchised and because of the last 10 years people feel depressed Do you think people have any right to feel disenfranchised? Yes, but I, don't think, I think they need to focus on doing something about it rather than just talking about a whole lot of things I would things. encourage you to do something about it and uh, you know that you are part of the 99% Yes, I do Yeah, we are, we are, we are the 99% uh, It's interesting the points you raise though I mean, it's, it's good to hear you know, different points of I view and so things like that It's a healthy thing, isn't it? It's really... Uh, yeah, it's, he it's healthy sharing of ideas I think this is a very, very good thing I don't expect everybody to agree with me and I don't get upset when they don't okay. I'm happy to explain my points in a calm, rational fashion I don't need to raise my voice he doesn't need to raise his voice That's good We're having a conversation about yeah. it I'll take on board what he says and I believe that he will probably take on board what I say. I would encourage you, if you wish to have a voice, please attend Occupy on the odd moments when you can. I will try to stay down here as much as I can, but I have a job. Uh, I'm self-employed, so my boss is me. I don't have to uh, say, oh, please can I have some time off to go to Occupy. Yep. I, I just make that decision myself. Um, if I can take the time on working on my business, I will do it. If you have suggestions that you'd like to make, please come along to the General Assembly. We have three or four of them per day. Uh, if you visit the info stand, there is a suggestion box. If you have an idea, I'd ask you to please write it down. The suggestion box. It might not get around to being discussed in the next five minutes, That's but fine. every discussion, uh, every suggestion is looked at, and it will be raised in general assembly. Well, I love the positivity, James, and I like the, the emotions behind it. Focus it down. I think it will be flying high. This will be packed completely within the next couple of weeks. Really I nice hope so. I really have. Great to meet you, James. You Thank, Thank you for spending time. That's nice, guys. Cheers.